to French Fried Trains. Today, we're going to be building another Norfolk Southern Heritage Unit, and we're going to be building NS1071, the Central Railroad of New Jersey Heritage Unit here. And this is an SD70 Ace. So let's get right into the build here. The first step is to take a dark oak stair for the rear coupler, and we'll attach that up. Under it, a sideways dark oak fence gate, then, on the next block down, we're going to put three blue concrete on the bottom middle and an upside down dark prismarine stair on either side. Above that, five blue concrete. Come over here, put two lightning rods here, two here. Then we'll remove the inner ones and open a dark oak fence gate on either side of the coupler. Then, swing around in front of this and we're gonna do a three block tall T-shape of blue concrete in the center. Then hang a lantern on either side of the second layer. And in front of that, a five by three of blue concrete coming out to each side of the tracks. Then we're gonna put three oak slabs coming up this side for stairs and three on this side. We'll also put three on this top middle back here. Then we'll skip one block forward from this and get another right wheel on each rail with an end rod axle. Then on the upper hitbox, two rows of five deep slate tile slabs. Then another set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle. And another two rows of five deep slate tile slabs on the upper hitbox. Then a final set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle. Open dark open skate into the ends of the wheels here and at this end down here. Then on the second layer, we're gonna fill the top middle three with polished black stone down the length of this truck. We're gonna come out one block past these fence gates and then put three on the bottom. Coming off the bottom, a row of upside down, outward facing, polished black stone stairs. And that's gonna be 18 blocks long in total. Once you have 18, three polished black stone on this end, and then same thing over here, 18 upside down polished black stone stairs to frame in the bottom of the fuel tank on this side. Then we'll come up top and continue filling the top middle three with polished black stone block down the length of the fuel tank. We'll stop at the front of it for now. Then in front of this, we'll skip one block forward and get another right wheel on each rail with an end rod axle. Then on the upper hit box, two rows of five deep slate tile slabs coming out to each side. Then another set of another right wheels and an end rod axle. And another two rows of five deep slate tile slabs on the upper hit box. Then a final set of another right wheels and an end rod axle. Open dark open skate into the ends of the wheels here. And at this end here. Then continue filling the top middle three with polished black stone down the length of this truck. We'll stop above these fence gates. Then in front of this, we'll do a five by three of blue concrete coming out to each side. In front of that, a T-shape in the center. Hang a lantern on either side of the second layer. In front of that, we're gonna put three dark prismarine stairs on the bottom middle and an upside down stair facing outward on either side. Then a blue concrete in the center, two upside down stairs on either side of that. Then three oak slabs on this top middle, three coming up this side, three on this side. Then take out a dark oak stair to be the coupler here. And we'll stack that up to this blue concrete in the center. Under it, we're gonna put a sideways dark oak fence gate. Then we'll put two lightning rods here, two on this side. We'll take out the inner ones and open a dark oak fence gate on either side of the coupler here. 
Now we're gonna come on the sides of the truck. Everywhere there's a wheel, put a deep slate tile slab above each wheel. Same thing here. Then do the other side. And get this truck up here. Then we're gonna come underneath and come back through and put an upside down grindstone in front of each of the three wheels. Same thing here. Then do the other side. And one more corner to go. Same thing here. Then my front end's facing the void out there, making this the conductor side. So on this side above the fuel tank, do a full row of polished black stone above these stairs. At the back of it, put a brewing stand here. Then put a brewing stand at the back on this side. Then starting at the back, do eight sideways anvils. Then come to the front, start from the front, and do eight sideways anvils on the front. In this gap, we're gonna put a mangrove sign and a button. Line up with this gap on this side, do a player head, a sign, skip to and a button. Then come back over here, on this front truck up here, put a bell right here. Then put a grindstone here and here, and then here and here. Come to the back truck, one here and here, same thing on this side. Then we're gonna take out a chain, put a sideways chain here and here, then two in this gap here on each side. Come up front, two chains here, and on this side. Then we'll come up on this third layer and we're gonna fill the whole top middle three end to end with polished black stone. Then we'll come on this top outside edge and go end to end with the yellow concrete up here. And we'll be doing the same thing on the other side end to end with yellow concrete on this top outside edge up here. And then we'll come back up to the front. Now we're gonna come on top of the front here on the third block back. And we're gonna start on the left hand side, do a blue concrete, a door, orange concrete, upside down acacia stair, blue concrete. Then we'll fill the whole next layer with orange concrete. Then on the third layer, three orange concrete in the center and an acacia stair on either side. Then we'll swing around behind it. And on each side behind this here, we'll put a column of two blue concrete. And then an upside down backward facing acacia stair on either side and three blue concrete across this top middle. Then behind that on the bottom, on this side, blue concrete, two blue shulker boxes, blue concrete. Same thing on this side here. Then we'll do four blue concrete above it on each side. Then above that, a blue concrete in each of the four corners. Fill the two in the middle with yellow terracotta. Then under it, we're gonna put two oak buttons on the side here and two here. Then come up here, take out cyan stained glass, two here, orange concrete, two cyan stained glass. Then a white stained glass paint on each side for mirrors. Then two cyan stained glass panes on each side here and here and an orange concrete behind them. Now come up here, put three orange concrete on the middle. Then behind it, we'll do a three by three of black wool. Then above the windows here on the front two, we're gonna put two acacia stairs here, two here, and on the back two, two dark prismarine stairs here and two here. Then on top, coming off the back of the cab, we'll do seven blue concrete coming back. And we'll go ahead and just make that three wide here. 
On this side, we're going to put a dark oak sign right here. Then on this side, one block from the end, we'll do four blue stained glass panes. Then back here, two cobbled deep slate with two iron bars on either side of it. Then a smoker in the middle, blue concrete on either side, and three blue concrete across the back, and surrounded on top with dark oak trap doors. Then we're gonna come over here in this corner. We'll do two blue concrete right here and a door. Then behind this, we're gonna do two layers of blue concrete coming back to the back of this section here. Then right here, a blue concrete and orange concrete, then a blue stained glass and an orange stained glass. Then another layer of blue to the back, and above it, a layer of orange. Then we'll swing around in here, put a blue concrete and an orange concrete behind that stained glass. Then on this side, we'll do three layers of blue concrete to the back of this section. And then come up here and do a layer of orange concrete to the back of this section. Now on this side here, we're going to put two blue shulker boxes, two blue concrete, two shulker boxes, concrete. Then one block from the end of it, a full row of blue concrete up to the door. Then come over on this side, starting at the cab on bottom, seven deep slate tile walls coming back, then seven blue concrete, then seven walls. Then behind this, two blue concrete and a two by two of polished basalt above it and a wall down in that corner. Now we'll come to the back end. On the third block in the middle, put a pattern of blue concrete like this. Then two more layers of blue, a layer of yellow, and finally, another layer of blue. Now come in front of this, put a column of three nether right here, then three up the middle, then a column of three in front of it. Then three anvils here, and on the side, we're gonna put a three by three of iron bars right here. Same thing over here, we'll do a three by three of iron bars. Then in front of that, on each side, a column of three blue concrete. Then we'll put a layer of orange up each side, and then a layer of blue. Then come above the iron bars, put three ladders here, three here. Then on this back middle, close two trap doors. Then we'll come on the top middle here, and we're gonna do two blue concrete, cobble deep slate, two blue concrete. Put an oak trap door on the cobble deep slate and surround it with iron trap doors. Then put a blue concrete on top here, sticking out to the side on each side. Then come in front of it and put another eight blue concrete coming forward. Then come across to this side and frame it in as a rectangle. Then three across the center, making two squares. Now right here, we're gonna do a dark prismarine stair, blue concrete with a trap door closed on it, then a blue concrete and an orange. On this side, we'll do two by three of blue, two orange. Right here, three deep slate tile walls. Then we're gonna bring three layers of blue concrete all the way forward till it connects up at the front. Then same thing on this side, three layers of blue concrete and bring it all the way forward until it connects up at the front here. Then come up under here and do a full layer of orange concrete all the way to the front. Same thing on this side here. Then we'll come up top and we'll fill this middle gap with black wool. Same thing in here. Then under here, a full row of upside down acacia stairs where it sticks out, facing outward. 
Same thing on this side, a full row of upside down acacia stairs here. Now on top up here, put a cobbled deep slate in the center of each of these with an oak trap door on top. Surround each one with a blue concrete on all four sides. Then surround it on top with dark prismarine slabs for each of them. Then we'll put a black carpet down in all of these corners to hide the orange. Then in front of this, on this top middle, we're gonna put three polished black stone slabs then open back-to-back -back scapes for a horn and two more slabs. On these outer edges, put a row of acacia trapdoors here and here. Now we'll come up front and on this front porch, we're gonna put a T-shape of black carpet like this. Then two rows of three black carpet on the center of the nose, three across here. Behind it, two polished deep slate slabs and a flower pot. Then bring black carpet up each side, and then continue it three wide behind here, all the way back till we cover these iron bars. Then we'll come back here, and we'll go around these fans with black carpet. Then across here, then around this one, and then all in between around this fan back here. Now come on top of this inverter box and put a full row of orange carpet up here. Then come down here on this walkway and do a full row of black carpet to the back. Back here, we're gonna take out this block, put in black wool, then a T-shape on the back, two here, and then bring the black carpet all the way up here. Then one on this stair and a full row up here. Then take out oak vents and we'll do our railings. Right here we're gonna come up by four. Here up three over one up two. Here up three over one up two. And here up four. Then two warp fences here, two here. We're gonna do the same thing on the back so switch back to oak. Right here, come up four. Here, up three, over one, up two. Here, up three, over one, up two. Here, up four. Switch to warp fence. Two here, two here. Then, connect your warp fence up right here and start bringing it forward all the way up this walkway. here we're gonna come up one over one up one again and over until it connects to the cap then we'll come to the back on this side connect your fence up right here and start bringing it forward right here we'll come straight up by three then over to connect with the cab And then we'll come back here and put one in this corner. Now we'll come up front here, put a glow item frame on either of these fences with a frog light. So put a frog light on each one. Then we'll come up here on the top middle, a glow item frame with a frog light. Then a birch sign next to it with our number here, which for this one is 1071. Same thing on the other side. And we can hit those with a glow ink sack. Now we'll detail the rear, so come back here. Same thing, a glow item frame on either fence down here with frog lights. Then one on this middle with a frog light. Then on either side next to it, we're going to do an acacia sign with 1071 on each side. And we're going to hit these ones with blue dye and a glowing sack. Then run a ladder up the left hand side here, skipping over where the sign is. Then 
we don't have enough room to spell out the words for our lettering, so we're just gonna use oak buttons here. We're gonna come right here, put three, a space, four, and then another space, and three. And that represents the lettering. Then we're gonna do it on the same level on the other side. Aligned right here, we'll do three, and we need a space, and we'll do four, space three. And I accidentally knocked out that block, so I had to get blue concrete to replace it here. Now we have some Statue of Liberty logos to do here, and for that, we're gonna be using some banners. So we're gonna come into a loom here, and we're gonna be using a blue banner and yellow dye. Make the bottom right corner yellow. Then do a vertical in the center. Then switch to blue dye. Make the top half blue. Go back to yellow dye and put a vertical on the left. Then do a yellow border. Then switch to blue dye and do a blue border so we have that faint outline around it. Then we're gonna go to an orange banner and blue dye here. Make the bottom right corner blue, then a vertical in the center, switch to orange, make the top half orange. Go back to blue, vertical on the left, then do a blue border, then an orange border. And that represents the little Statue of Liberty logo. So we're gonna come up here, we're gonna put the yellow one on the side here, and here, and then the other one goes on the center of the nose here. Next up, we'll do the interior. So come on in through the nose here. In this corner, we're gonna put an end portal. Then, right here, stack smooth sandstone slabs up to the window. Same thing on this side. On these sides, stack the slabs up two blocks tall. Two blocks tall on the back middle. Two blocks tall over here. Then use your slabs in the center to make stairs coming down. Back here, put a blast furnace and a frog light. Then a stair on each side for seats. A slab over here. Up here, a glow item frame with an end crystal. And then on this right hand side, a lever. Come down these stairs, turn around and put a door right here. Now the interior is done. And there we have it folks. We've completed our Central Railroad of New Jersey Heritage Unit. I hope you enjoyed the build here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone, have a great week. Stay safe out there, rail fans.